that country, Nigeria, when you see Nigeria as a country and you see a snake, please kill that name, Nigeria elite. Leave the snake alone. Whenever I hear about all the atrocities happening in that country, I get flamed up and I just switch off my phone. It's full scarcity in a country that you are number six in oil production. I have been in this country for more than six years. There has never been fuel scarcity and they do not have oil. Not at all. What is going on in Nigeria? A country known as Giant of Africa. A country that has never done me nothing. Nothing. Not even education. I try to raise up in that country. They bring me down. The economy is bringing me down. I ran out of the country for a greener pastor. When I was in South Africa, whenever you go to a Nigerian embassy, the embarrassment and lock out, going to your own embassy for refuge and for some documentation. The consular and the workers will embarrass you to the extent say, go back home. You'll be hearing, go back home. What do you mean by go back home? I am entitled to be in South Africa as a woman. I am entitled to be in Britain as a woman. I am entitled to be in Europe as a woman. When you see me at that embassy, okay, ask yourself, why do we have consular abroad? You have consular abroad because of your people, not because of any of anybody else. They don't just pay you salary to go, just go and sit and sleep in Europe. No, it's because of me. Nigeria. <laughs> we are not getting it right. You see, if I don't voice off my anger like this, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Fuel scarcity. Expensive fuel. What a shame. And the problem is, as we cry like this on social media, these people are shameless. They see us on social media. Listen, if you are on Facebook, no matter who you are in the world, they are watching these videos. They are seeing our videos day in, day out. Right? They don't care. They don't have empathy. They don't have sympathy. They have, their eyes is at the ear. Their eyes there for here. They are not seeing you. If one or two Americans are saying things, when they come to criticize the government, the government are going to go back, sit, and talk about this like I know I, I, I mean fuel scarcity this is ridiculous this is something we shouldn't be hearing about say they swear for us ni. can I tell you something you don't know I will start from Israel if there is no fuel again in the world in the next 15 to 20 years Israel will never have fuel scarcity I repeat myself, if there's no fuel in the world, Israel will not have fuel scarcity in the next 20 years. In Britain, if there's no fuel anywhere in the world, Britain will never go out of fuel for the next 40 years. Same thing in America, same thing in Europe. Those that are producing fuel, they don't have fuel, their people are suffering. Fuel scarcity, things are just damn expensive. Can I tell you guys a secret? Consular General, Nigerian Consular, 
general, or what do I put it, the South African, our embassy in South Africa, our own South Africa, 400,000 South African rand. They have closed and ran away. You are, hearing, you are hearing it from me. I said, embassy of Nigeria in South Africa. They closed up embassy and ran away because South Africans are looking for them. They want to collect 400,000 rand. They are owing them. They closed the embassy and ran away. It's on, it's on news. You see the police looking for, they come there to look. Nigeria, giant of Africa. They are stealing money, giving millions to, to, to terrorists. Anybody who is coming to my platform and talk rubbish against me, may Nigeria do you. May Nigeria happen to you. When the same way Nigeria happened to you, when you are sick, there's no good medical facilities for you. The good road you are using, there's no good road. An accident is waiting. The terrorists kidnap us. I repeat myself, a giant of Africa. They are owing South African 400,000 rand. They can't pay for where they are using as an embassy in South Africa. Only God knows they buy it or they are not paying money. I don't know what, or maybe where they are staying as a home. I don't understand. I don't know what is wrong. I was talking to somebody in Nigeria now. He said they don't have light since yesterday in their office, in their shop, and in their at home. There's no electricity. If, every, if everybody be like me, I go go get solar. I don't go use that electricity. I don't go use that electricity. God, please help me. I want to put solar in my place. I don't want to use the electricity. I don't even want to see it. I don't know. I go get generator. I go make I just leave them. I will not pay. If everybody, if all of us do, I know everybody, nobody. People are just paying for what they don't use. You think it's not deliberate? Do you think it's not deliberate not to give you electricity? You think it's not deliberate? It's deliberately suffering you people. They don't have sympathy and empathy. You people think, that, oh, there's a problem. Oh, they got one problem. They can't. No, there's solution to electricity. Constant 24 hours electricity. There is something they can do within six months. Yes, I repeat. Within six months, they can give you constant electricity with now, without any interference. It is deliberate. To fix your road is deliberate. Lagos Ibadan Expressway, they can't fix it. It's deliberate. From Lagos to Onisha, they can't fix the road to Bini. It's deliberate. When the rain comes, when I go come, then they are flying on air. Any politician, any Nigerian politician that is watching me, and or you, if you are a soldier, you are a police, you are DIS, DSS, you are watching me, and you are putting me on watch, you will never leave. You will never live to see me. If you think that what I'm saying is a lie, if you think I don't have right to fight for freedom, you think I don't have right to talk or criticize the government, if you are a police officer, you're watching me. If you are a DSS watching me, if you're army, whosoever you are that you're watching me and you think I don't have a right, may you never live to see me coming. May you never live to see me coming. I don't know what will happen to you. I will, may you never live to see me coming. With my legs on the floor of Israel. This is, the, this is where we, we know as a holy place. I'm removing my shoe. Now, if you think I am wrong to have, a, to have peace of mind. If you think it's wrong for me to have freedom. If you think it is alright the way they are treating me as an evil man. May you never live to see your, the person, may you never live to see the Biafran people. May you never live to see Biafra. May you never live to see our success. May you never live, live to see us coming. This is, this is ridiculous. 
I've seen the person where they go for my bank. You see, I'm, my cat, if they give food, cat, if they give food, cat, it go give, it go give food, it go give cat food in the morning. Are you give this woman where they go so it go give cat food in the morning, food around 11, it go give cat food. By this time, you go come again, come give cat food. Israel spent one point something million, I mean, one point something, I think one point something million dollar to fit cats and, and uh, yes, to fit street cats. If he's sick, he go call the doctors of cats, may they come take care of the cat on the street. What is wrong with you now? Don't we want to have a good life? We will not want to get better life. Support the movement. Support the movement. Cry. Let them see you are crying. We have to cry. You don't beat a child and tell the child not to cry. No, you don't beat a child. Not You don't beat a child and ask the child not to cry. I've been beaten. I've been running up and down all over the world. I'm tired of running up and down all over the world. I'm tired. Many of us, our father died. We are not there to bury our father. Many of us, our uncle died. We are not there to bury our uncle. Many of us, our mother died. We are not there to bury our brothers. Many of us, our children are graduates. We are not there to celebrate with them. Many of us, our children are married. We are not there to celebrate with them. Many of us, our families are celebrating what we are supposed to be there to celebrate with them. We are not there. Do you think that is a sweet life? Make I tell you something you don't know. 99.99% of people that Nigerians or Africans that are in Europe, they are not living a happy life. Depressed. If you are in Europe and you're telling me you're living a very, very happy life, tell me so now. If you're living in London and you're telling me you're living a very hard, depressed life, everybody's living depressed life, where your families are not there. You are going to stay six months, one year before you could visit home to see your family. Even if you want to bring your family, they don't allow you to bring your family. We are living a depressed life, man. Some people have left their children for more than 10, 15 years. No document to go back and see their families. Some people did, will not live to see their family. They die abroad. They bury them abroad. What is wrong with us? Why don't we fight for the right cause? We don't need presidency. Listen, Peter Obi or whosoever you people, you people are moron. Peter Obi will never give you what exactly we want because we are still under colonization. Modern day colonization. Why should you be glamouring for presidency and you are going to Chantan House to talk? Are you, are you, are you, are you going to be the president for the Britain people? Are you going to be president to the British people? Where are you supposed to go? The Chantan House in your village. All the villages, that's where you're supposed to be. You are not even supposed to campaign in the city. Those that are on social media are not the ones you should campaign to anymore. Go to that woman that don't have electricity. Go and listen to the woman. Go and know the kind of sickness those women have. Go and know. That is where you're supposed to know that they don't have a road to go to farm. That is where you're supposed to know that they don't have clinic. Their children are dying. They are dying of illness. That is where your stupid Peter Obi should be. Oh, somebody is showing on social media. Oh, people love sorry, Peter Obi too much. Oh, ah, see Peter Obi. Look at Peter Obi. Everybody love Peter Obi. Does that woman in the village know who Peter Obi is? The woman that don't have electricity, that don't even know what electricity is. He doesn't know what a standard road look like. They don't know. And you're telling me about Peter Obi. There are many people in Peter Obi village. They are, they are disabled. There is no wheelchair for them. No crutch. Peter Obi will be saying, he go Pandora. He go hide money for Pandora. You people are not talking about it. Peter Obi will never do anything. The same thing, you people come every year, every eight years, you come to cry. Buhari, 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 Buhari. Buhari don't Buhara all of Funa now. He's going now, he's Peter. Atiku. And the rest of the, the, the old man where they, where they, the Nesuzugari. 
What is there if you have your Odudua? Go and be president at Odudua. You be a president, Obi, Obi should be president at Biafra. If you want to be president, it will not fight you. This one, you don't even need to fight too much. Not be say it's my Emilokan, 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 now my, my turn, now my turn. Which kind of my turn? Another four years, another person will come and say it's my turn. Oh, Peter Obi did not do well. They begin to attack and sabotage. Whenever I feel pains, I will come here to talk about it. I will come here to cry. You don't ask me not to cry when I'm feeling the pain. This Israel, where you see so? This Israel, where you see so? People are making a living, but they are not still happy. When you are making a good living and you are not still happy, Sometimes you go see somebody go just carry him back, begin to go to Nigeria. After six months, he begin to call. I say, ah, how are they? How is Israel? Ah, my brother, ah, the business where I do, oh, the thing, my money don't finish. Oh, I don't know. If I say I know, I for stay small. Oh, hey, nah, man. Uh, okay, make a day, oh, enjoy. Foolish people call themselves politicians. Good night, everyone. I'm very angry.